Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you may come across a situation where you think I'm, I want to use a switch statement, which is very useful as opposed to using a convoluted if statement or even a crazy sequence of run afters. So what I'm going to do is here you may more often than not, you may have an action and then actually decide I need to repeat this multiple times based on pivoting off of a single property value, which is where the switch statement is, is most useful. So here I've just got a simple flow and all I'm going to say is if I enter yes for this parameter, I'm going to switch on that parameter and basically go if yes, do this, if no, do something else. And obviously you can rinse and repeat and keep going. So for this one, I've got to create file here and I, I want to do basically the same thing, but just change the file name from yes to no. So I don't really want to go through creating this whole action again. I'm going to make uh, my life easier and I'm going to go copy to my clipboard. Um, there may even be a, um, a control C V trick, but we, we'll do it through the, the graphical user interface method. So I've copied it to my clipboard. I come over to my no action access the clipboard and I will click to add it and I'll, I'll click on all of these others just to prove there's no no difference there just the multiple times that I've copied so that can be quite infuriating now whilst this is just a single action it's not too much of a hardship to just manually recreate but all you need to do in this instance is basically drag the action outside of the the switch statement block and then now I will add additional actions. From the clipboard and I can keep going for however many times I may need to repeat this within the switch statement. So you can see here we've got three of them. And then all I need to do here is expand out my, in fact, we'll make use of the default one as well, just to mop up all three of them. And in, in, in this instance, you can now just drag them in quite happily. So sometimes it can pay to kind of have it outside of the switch statement, copy and paste however many instances you need, and then drag them in. Another thing to watch out for is that if you use scopes, you may find that you can't drag if we did what we've done now. So in fact, let's put it to the test. If I add in a scope and if I drag the switch statement in here and if I try if I move this right outside of the, not only the switch, but the scope, and this is where it, you have to have awareness of the different layers within the Power Automate, because whilst it may not work when it's a one layer, it's because it's kind of building blocks. You need to drag it in gradually to, to the correct place. So here, a similar thing, uh, I'm just going to do copy to clipboard. Um, in fact, no, I'm not doing it. going to do copy to clip. I'm going to try and place this into here and it has actually worked, which, which is great. That's what we want. But what you may find is that you can't directly go from here to here, but you can go from here, copy and paste your instances and then drag them in. So we'll leave it there. Just a short and sweet video on something that can be very useful the copy and paste functionality and i'd hate for someone to give up and do a load of manual effort just when if you if you moved into a different area did you copy and paste and then dragged it where you wanted it to be you could still get the benefit of you know doing all of that hard work once and then just pasting and tweaking for however many um times you need to add your different switch case statements okay